Hi guys, a few years back I was doing rockets powered by, well these are super dent um, or sterodent, um, they're little tablets that effervesce and produce carbon dioxide gas. So you put one or two in the empty tube, stick it that way up so the cap's on the bottom and when they built up enough pressure, it blasts off like a rocket. Now, I usually put fins on it and a bit of foam on the top in case it hits anything. I haven't done it for a few years. I've been meaning to try it again because I've had a few comments on the old videos. But today I was in Aldi, A-L-D-I, and they've got these effervescent vitamin C tablets. And I thought, I wonder if they work. So this is completely unopened out of the shop. But I'll try and do the same thing. I'll empty it, put one tablet back in there, a bit of water, stand it that way up and see if it actually shoots off the ground. We'll do it out in the garden. The hot weather's actually come to an end at the moment. There's clouds up there. And we have had a bit of rain. But I'll go and set it up in the middle of the garden there. Right, before we get going, I've just taken the cap off. And it looks to me, well, that, that springy bit there is just to hold the tablets in place inside the container so they don't rattle around when they're being transported in, uh, from the manufacturer. But in there, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. That looks to me like that's something to absorb the moisture, to keep them fresh. I shall leave it in there, but um, I just thought I'd point that out. It seems like a bit of a design feature. The important bit is whether the rest of it makes the right tightness of a seal for, to allow it to build up pressure and then when it's got enough pressure, it should push the cap off. So, like I say, I'll set it up out there. Well, that worked perfectly. I thought I got sprayed then, but I didn't. I'll do that again. Well, it's actually effervescing too quickly for me. So I'm trying a modification. That plastic springy bit that was there, I've cut so that I push the tablet in there so it's held on the top. I'm going to put the water in here, put the top on. That should hold the tablet away from the water. And then when I turn it over, that's when it can start the reaction going. So that should give me more time to get out of the way. So we'll try that.
Well, that worked, but we're not getting as much pressure building up now. I should think what's actually happening is the cap is now a looser fit than it was when it was brand new. So it's releasing before the pressure is building up high enough to get it to shoot up in the air. I'll give it one more go and I'll zoom the camera in so we can actually see what happens. Well, I've got to say, that's pretty disappointing now. The first one went off like a rocket, <laughs> but all the ones after that have been much more subdued. So I think that's all it is, the tightness of the cap fitting on there has reduced, so it's not building up so much pressure. So, well, we tried it anyway. As a straight comparison, we'll try the Super Dent uh, denture cleansing tablets. So I've got one of them, stick it in there, I'll go and put it back on that brick on the launching platform and see how that compares. Well that was marginally better, the problem that time was as the pressure was building up it was doming the inside or the top, the cap, that meant it was rocking around on the brick and it's quite windy out there so I had to actually put it back on the brick when it fell over but that's what was happening, that's going dish shaped or bowl shaped. Now on the original rockets I stuck uh, styrofoam fins on it to lift it off the ground so we didn't get that problem. So we had three, well, a tripod in effect to hold it upright. The other thing is, uh, one of the other tricks is to put some of this packaging in there, put the water in first, put that in, and then put the um, pill. <laughs> tablet on top and again that holds it away from the water then you can turn it over the water soaks through so that gives you time to get out of the way again although as you could see there it's a slower process with these so I'll set it up again like this um, see how we get on and if that doesn't work then I'll glue some fins on it
Yeah, a bit disappointing, isn't that? Right. I've glued some styrofoam uh, fins on it so it will stand upright. So we'll give it a try. Well, still nothing like the height I was getting years ago when I was doing it before. It may be that they've loosened the um, cap so it doesn't fit quite so tightly. Because we're clearly not getting the same amount of pressure in there that I was getting. Well, I'll, I'll put the original videos up here somewhere. I was getting um, sort of 20 feet or more. So this is really nothing like I was getting before. I'll give it another go. Well, that went much better. That was using the effervescent uh, vitamin C tablets. But you may have noticed I'm just going to go back to it, which you shouldn't do obviously, because it was clearly leaking a bit. But it still went. So I'm going to do that one again. I enjoyed that. So, I'm using two of the effervescent uh, vitamin C tablets, crushing them a bit as I throw them in, putting the water in, putting the cap on, standing back. Well, my hot glue came loose, but it still launched, didn't it? So, I might have to do another session of this. This is all a bit off the cuff and not practiced and rehearsed. But it does work, so I'm pleased. All right, summary time. We're using one a day vitamin C effervescent tablets that I picked up in Aldi, or effervescent superdent tablets. Uh, you can get them in Poundland and you can get them other places. Poundland they're a pound, but other places they're cheaper. So, and they both seem to work. And that tube is working better than that tube. And it's all down to the tightness of the seal on the end. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.